I'm Delta Work, and it's time for Very Scary Delta, where it's Halloween all month long. Cheryl Hole is here, but first, do you want to see me go off? Because I think you want to see me go off. M. Oh. M. Are you a ghoulita like me? Do you want to suck blood like me? Do you wear a sexy nun costume just like me? Do you wear hypnotique at Halloween like me? Do you drink green jello shots like me? Do you love fun size candy like me? Well, if you do, then you must be very scary, Delta. I'm Delta Work, and this is Very Scary Delta, a luxury public access podcast and YouTube talk show where I look gorgeous, speak extemporaneously, and invite fascinating people to sit on the couch and get Very Delta. Very Delta is for the woman who played Sister Irene in her local production of The Nun 2. But first, let's get into some things that are Very Delta. Ghoul off, Delta! Here's what I think of the Halloween stores this year. I think that Spirit Halloween has hit this spot where there's something for everyone. Once upon a time, you would go to like the Halloween stores. And I don't really even know when Spirit came around as like the leader, but they've been the leader for a long time. Um, You would go to these stores. And for someone like myself, who looks like me, who is my size, I would always have a hard time walking out with a costume, right? I live uh, just off uh, my whole life, off the run of the five freeway in LA. And there were always two Halloween stores and they were just called Halloween Superstore. And they were open 365. They were open every day of the year, uh, always Halloween stuff. And then throughout the year, they would have like Easter stuff or whatever. Um, You could occasionally get something there, but they're... Uh, big and tall or plus size would just be extra large. And just so everybody knows, and we're on the same page, an extra large is the largest size of what's considered to be average sizing. So that's not big and tall. That's big and tall if you're an extra small. Um, So, you know, over these years, Spirit Halloween has like elevated themselves to introducing costumes for everyone. And originally they would carry like costumes that were uh, maybe like, the one X or whatever. And that would be for ladies who were like 16, which if you're a two, that is big. Um, But now spirit, they've got men's profiled clothing, women's profiled clothing. And I say profile because as we know, these are interchangeable. You can wear whoever you want. You can wear whatever you want. But I'm telling you, I walked into spirit the other day and I could have easily walked out with four costumes that would have fit me perfectly because some of them I like put up to myself. Some of them I actually tried on because I had them there. Um, I loved it. And the other thing that I fell in love with that has just gotten better, they actually have what they call Spirit Halloween exclusives. And one of those exclusives that I got, I had to travel around Southern California to find it because I saw my Gordo right here. This is Gordo the pumpkin and it's actually called that. Comes with the stand, comes with the pumpkin. It's full animatronic. You see that its mouth opens up. It does the whole thing. It makes a noise. Uh, It's on a timer. I mean, that thing legitimately was available there. It's available to you to have in your home if you want just like one thing. They used to not have stuff like that. You could get like a pumpkin, a small decoration. They have got this. I mean, they've got like massive massive items that can go in on lawns or on top of things. They've got blow-ups, animatronics, the the rhinestoning level of stuff. My mind blew. My mind blew. Um, last year, I remember they introduced this like Ariana Grande sort of um, those bunny ears. She had that mask, like Dangerous Woman or whatever it's called. And it was like fully rhinestone. I'm talking about like $24.99. You can't even get the rhinestones for that price in downtown. I'm sure, listen, I get it. You know, People are probably losing their lives to manufacture this stuff. But, you know, the world's on fire. You're not going to be able to fix it. Spend $24.99. Be Ariana Grande. The Spirit Halloween store, when it's we're talking about props, the nail game. that I, I buy nails from Spirit Halloween 
all throughout September, October when the stuff is out. I will say, I don't think they, they do coupons. I don't think they do like a regular sale. Like everything's 25% off today, but they do a lot of coupons online. So if you're interested in going, um, I would go to their Instagram and they print up a coupon, but check the dates. Cause that's kind of funky sometimes. There's another store that's rivaling uh, Spirit Halloween and it's called Halloween City. And just like Spirit, they take over abandoned stores. So there's one in um, near me in Long Beach that I go to that I think used to be like an old David's Bridal or it used to be an old David's Bridal or something like that. Um, but they have the props like no other. They had this skeleton. I'm telling you, you see me here at this desk, but if you can imagine this desk and then another one on this side and another one on this side. And the middle is like a massive, massive skeleton head and then skeleton arms that look like they're coming out of the ground. I mean, this thing's like, I don't know, $600, something like that. I'm not going to go buy it, but I could. I have the space for it now. I'd love to have it up all year round. Those 13 foot skeletons, they have them there. The costumes are insane. They're so good. You really have to look into them. But I also suggest because these stores can only have so many of each thing, you have to look online because, you know, some of these costumes that are like the the, the larger size range, like a 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X, um, those go quickly because a lot of times people like myself who've never been able to see those items in the store and available um they're going to grab them. They're going to know like, well, shit, for this price point, I might as well grab it. I could always bring it back later if it doesn't work. A lot of times, I mean, a lot of people generally don't like to try on clothing, but I'm telling you now, as a plus size, big and tall person, I used to not like to try things on in the store because I always, I don't know, it's just like a thing. It was like baggage from that because you don't want to try it on and it doesn't fit because the people that manufacture these things aren't really manufacturing them from the actual standpoint of somebody who has to put that clothing on. I mean, I, you know, I've advocated for years and will always advocate that people who make costumes or clothing or any of those things should really have a team of people who wear that stuff and live in those bodies, actually try them on and say, this is what happens when I sit down in it. This is what happens when I stand up in it. This is what happens when I reach my arm up. So like all that stuff matters. I feel like they are taking that into consideration now at uh, Spirit, especially and over at Halloween City, you're getting these options. You're getting the coverage. You're getting the um, the support that you need. I am a little bit let down. I'm actually always let down by Walmart. I feel like, Wal you know, Walmart, they have an online thing where they're trying to be like Amazon and they could do that. I think they are the powerhouse that could do that. But the clothing that they offer, the costumes, come on. I know that they are marketing to a certain price point, so I get it. I'm not looking for extra super good quality costumes for like children because they're only going to be used one time and then the next year they're going to grow out of it. So it's okay for them to be made out of like tablecloth fabric or things like that. And for parents that maybe only have a certain budget, like that works. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We have space for all kinds of costumes. I absolutely champion that. However, they should have some other elevated options that are a little bit nicer, uh, a little bit more of a price point. Target is another one. They used to, the hide and eek brand that they used to have, like you'd walk in the store and it would be like Halloween shop this way. And like, you'd be excited to go look at their stuff. While I am impressed by a lot of the um, decor, like the small animatronics, I bought a thing that's like a projector for, for my um, um, entryway. I thought that looked really cool. There are things like that that are super cool, but the costumes, I mean, come on. We get it. Enough with the hot dog. Like you bring that out every year. I, I think it's fun. I think it's office safe. I think for somebody that doesn't uh, necessarily want to do too much, but wants to kind of stand out a little bit. I think those are fun options. You know, they don't want to do too much makeup. I get it. You got to have those, but bring something else in and definitely bring some plus size options in there. Are you kidding me, Target? You have your Ava and Viv and all that stuff over there up to a women's women's 4X. I mean, these are generously sized, generous coverage. You can't throw something in the Halloween section. Are you that dumb? Stop being dumb. Start putting some options out there. You know people are walking around with their Starbucks, walking around with their, mm, look at Halloween. Mm. Pumpkin spice. Oh, this and that. And then you go look for a costume and all you can buy is what? 
uh, uh, vampire teeth. Oh, I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna shred my T-shirt and put on vampire teeth because that's all I have. Target, Target. I listen. The war has been hard on all of us. Target. I get it, Mister Veterinarian. The war has been hard on all of us. We understand. We understand COVID. I get it. But the thing is, you could get these clothes. You could get something. You could at least have like a cool witch dress. Maybe you have it online. Maybe I should go online like I recommend for the other stores. But at least the other stores have it in store. Like you could actually go in. Even if they're sold out, the option was there. I don't see enough of an option at Target. I really, really don't. Target and Walmart try to put these wigs in there. Girl, bye. The wig game is so fierce right now. You can get a decent wig on Amazon, honestly, under 20 bucks. You have this $14.99 price point for these wigs that are going to catch fire if I hold it under my arm too long walking to the register. So, you know, I'm just saying to you, like, you could up that game. And then I, I know a lot of people... Nightmare Before Christmas led people to uh, this place where like Halloween and Christmas could be the same. I say go for it. You can do whatever you want. But I saw a lot of like little fur Christmas trees in black and a lot of all that. But uh, so you're spending a lot of time with that, thinking that everybody wants to decorate their house. What about October 31st? You're thinking about, I don't know, September 54th. You're thinking of the 12th of Never but you're not thinking of October 31st. We want costumes. We want them to fit. Stop putting plus size on things and saying plus size is 165 pounds. It's not. You're fucking lying. You're gaslighting people and you're lazy. I need Target and I need Walmart to step it up. Step up that puss. Do you want to see me take a break? Because I think you want to see me take a break. And a tree up. Woo! Shut up. All right. Let's do it. She worked at TGI Fridays. <laughs> it's the exquisite Cheryl Hole. Hello, Delta. Hi. Hello, my angel. How are you doing? I'm super, super glad that you're here. Tis the secrets and to be spooky. Right. right. La 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 la. I've never truly experienced a full us halloween so to be here right here uh -huh. right now i'm so buzzed like i feel like i'm gonna have an education especially from the queen of halloween halloween for some reason gets earlier and earlier every year the retailers put it out early. i mean it was out i purchased this in june at a, at a hardware store I mean, that's how it works. I mean, it's it's everywhere. It will be everywhere. <laughs> Pumpkin spice drops at a certain time, but Halloween decor starts early. I don't know what it is. And there's not really like a, a rage of Halloween retail-wise in the UK, right? No, you'll probably get it about two weeks before. Okay. You'll get like the multi-packs of sweets ready to throw out on the 31st. But other than that... You, you wouldn't be able to find that jack-o'-lantern anywhere. Really? Not not until at least the 2nd of October. Um, but June. It's early. It's Roll up 2024. Early. Yeah. That'll be Easter. It'll be out with the bunnies. It really does. And you kind of can gauge like uh, what month it is based on what is coming out. I mean, already the majority of the stores have at least one aisle of Christmas out. See, that's right where now. we do it as well. We, we're, we're like Christmas in July, okay. whatever the saying is. Like, uh -huh. you'll literally put your Easter bunnies away, get the Easter eggs out. Do you do Easter eggs here? We do Easter eggs. Oh, my yeah. Christ. I, I could devour an Easter egg right now. But like a hollow one or something Yeah, filled. like a hollow one. Okay. So you get the hollow one. So say, for example, let's take M&Ms. Okay. You'll get an M&M chocolate egg. Okay. And then you'll get like an assortment of M&Ms with the egg. So you get your little chalky fix, but you get the full chocolate egg as well. I love it. I could devour it. I could have it right now. When you crack it open, do you ch immediately chew it or do you let it melt? Oh, right. I know this is controversial. I love chocolate in a fridge. Okay. I love chocolate to be crisp mm -hmm. and cold. I like that. So you get that crunch. So like an Easter egg is like perfect. I love how we're talking about Easter when it's Halloween. I mean, we have to. I mean, it's 
tis the chocolate season. There's no season. rules. There's no rules. Yeah. Very Delta is it is very Delta of us to go off on different yeah. tangents. Yeah. Um I I honestly have to say, completely other tangent. I feel like we are the same person though. I love this. I love this. I I, I feel like I'm British Delta. Just sitting I here. think there needs to be that, and I think there needs to be uh US Cheryl. Oh, that's called Alyssa. Oh, <laughs> That's what people called me when when I first came out on Drag Race UK. Oh, she's the UK Alyssa. I was like, because I did one tongue pop. Uh-huh. They, they called it a day, but yeah. Anyway, chocolate. I love biting into it, but I do like it melting. But uh-huh. if it's already melting before I've bitten it, it's I don't want I don't want to have it. Okay. I don't want to see it. Okay. It's got to be crisp and cold. And me and my husband fight about this all the time because he wants room temperature and I want fridge. Okay. And that's the only thing we'll disagree on. Is it going to be milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Any chocolate. Any chocolate. I'll take all the chocolate. Any chocolate. White chocolate. Is white chocolate a thing here? Yeah, you can get white chocolate, of course. I mean, I if I could rank chocolates, it would go milk, white, dark. Okay. And that's that's the way I'll play it. But okay. I love a dark with a sea salt. Oh, that is so good. It's so sexy. That is like, so good. You put it in your mouth and you just want to go, oh my God. Like it's uh-huh. just that that contradicting like flavors. In Can your you mouth. do it again there in the in that same way, but maybe more heightened? Oh yeah. Sea salt, dark chucky, come in me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what. That's how it should feel when yeah. you have. That's Easter to me. Trust I mean, that's how I feel at Easter. Absolutely. You, something that we because we are very similar. Um, although I've never been a server, but you've been at a ser- You've been a server at a chain restaurant, and I love chain restaurants. Oh, TGI so do Fridays. I. <laughs> I didn't even know they had TGI Fridays in the UK. Yeah, so it's like completely different from US TGI Fridays. Okay, they take all the fundamentals of it. But it's completely different. So, like, the U.S. departments have nothing to do with it. So they have their own CEO. They have their own menus. They have their own everything. Is it, like, bangers and mash burger? or oh, like absolutely what is it? not. No, no, it's still, like, the quintessential, like, your sesame chicken strips, your mozzarella dippers, your, your Jack Daniels glaze. Like, uh-huh. it's everything TGI Fridays, but they just do their own thing. Okay. So they take the lead with that. They've also got a burger called the Warrior Burger, which came in after my time. But it's like two burger patties. I'm in. Mozzarella dippers. Oh. Um, cheese as well. And bacon bits. And then like an onion relish in it. It's onion so fun- relish sounds good. It's, it's a challenge. But I will take on that challenge at any day of the week. What is an, what is a mozzarella dipper? Is it like just a stick? Like a stick shape? So th- the ones at TGI Fridays are like like a rectangle okay. of mozzarella. So it's just like breaded. Even more. Even more than what we have here. I like it. You, you get more bang for your buck. Yeah. You, um, I love it. But I I worked at TGI Fridays when I was studying at university. I did a degree, a degree in dance and I specialized in choreography. Mm-hmm. And I went, what can I do to keep myself entertained four nights a week? I work at TGI Fridays. Yeah. So... I wanted to be on the floor being a waiter, but they were like, we think we need you on the door. And I was like, why? I don't want to be a door bitch. I want to be on the floor yeah, going, yeah. hi, what can I get for you? Oh, two Diet Cokes coming right up. Cheers. Um, but they were like, no, we need you on the door. And I didn't realize it's like running a mission on a Saturday night to make sure all your seats are covered, make sure those bookings come in, but you get those buzzers and those pages out. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like a like a host, like yeah. a host stand. A door host, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. a lot of work. I could never. I, I could mean, never. I did it for like a year before they they like dual trained me. Uh-huh. So one day I'd be on the door, then the next day I'd be on the floor. And some days I would flip between the both. Uh-huh. And I don't know how my brain processed it, but I did it and I absolutely loved it. I think if somebody was to say to me, your your time with drag is up tomorrow, I go, OK, 
okay, get me back to the restaurant. I'd be like, hi guys, what, hi Delta, That's what would you so like today? Interesting, because you, we are very similar. Because I have said to people before, I loved working in retail. I worked in retail as a salesperson and also as a manager, and mm-hmm. I loved it because even though it was a challenge working with yeah. the dregs sometimes, the worst people, the meanest people. If you're able to switch it around on them and provide them a good experience, you think to yourself, like, I've really achieved something. Like, I've really done something here to make people who, for instance, going out to TGI Fridays, maybe this is their actual, you know, experience of fun that they're going to have this month. If you're able to facilitate that in any way, it's a big deal to them and it can be a big deal to you. So I would love to go back to customer service. I, I have... I mean, I, I think I would see it with different eyes, of course. I think we both would. Oh, but yeah. Truly. Yeah. I think for me, I would go back with a completely different approach. I I was so thrifty as well because nobody in our store, you know, they do the birthdays, they uh-huh. do the big song and dance, the balloons, everything. So many people come to my section and be like, I've got a birthday on table 73. Can you come do a birthday? I was like, it'll cost you. So whatever tip they got... I got a percentage of that tip. Smart. If they if they had a good birthday. So I'd be like, all right, TGI Fridays, we've got Delta celebrating her birthday. Can we have a round of applause? And then like the whole restaurant would erupt. I'd get up on the chair. So like it was only fitting that I threw a wig on and got paid to do it. Yeah. Because tips were great, but not like what we get for doing drag. <laughs> We need to save that. I want to play that for my birthday next year because I've never had that happen at a restaurant before. Oh, my God. When's your birthday? It's in January, January 23rd. Oh, my God. Okay, shall I fly back out and we'll go to a TGI's? Wait, so I've been to the UK a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I had a hard time getting ice for my beverages. Would there be a difficult... If I would... Would TGI Fridays be a sanctuary for an American like me or no? So when I did my training, obviously the... The tap drinks are all refillable. So I was always on it. I'd mm-hmm. see if the glass was like half full because the, the glass is always half full with me. I'd look on those tables and and I would walk back to the table with a full glass because by the time they've asked for another one, that glass will be empty. If I preempt that, by the time they want another drink, it's already there. And Delta, they the taught us the glass has to be full to the top with ice because it stays compact. So the drink stays cold for longer. <laughs> I mean, this is why we are the same person. Fairy Delta. She, I just wanted it that way, but she was trained that way. So she went somewhere where this is instituted. Like I, maybe I would love TGI Fridays even more in the UK. You'd love it with me. I would. That's, that's, I was even if it difference. was here, as long as you were here with me. Oh, I'd make I'd make that happen. If if they're hiring, I'll be there. I've got the visa. I'm here for the next three years. I um, love this. But there could be snow on the ground, and I will still have ice to the top of the glass. I will. I. Do you know what I want? So we were just talking off. We were just talking off camera, um, and we're we're like both homebodies. I want an ice machine in my house. Oh, absolutely. The the bags of ice mm-hmm. that we buy do mm-hmm. not last. No. They do not last because I will have ice with my water, ice with my orange juice, ice with my diet coke because we yeah. get the 2 liter bottles. Yeah. Because I can't be I can't be pissing about with the cans. Uh-huh. I want I want a pint. Do you do pints over here? Uh of diet coke? I think we do the 20 the 16 ounce a 20 ounce and then i think there is that like 32 ounce bottle yeah and then there's the 2 liter bottle i've got a question for you okay i really want to go to to a 711 uh-huh. and get one of like the the big drinks uh-huh but obviously there's no cups there do you go to the till and ask for them the cups are there the cups will be there for you. Did I go to a shit one? No, you you went you probably went to one where they have a lot of questionable people that come in and think that the beverages are free or ice is free. It was on um, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So. That's where yeah, that's not the good one. You should go to the one up the street from here. It's a good one. And the biggest cup you're going to be able to pull out for yourself is 64 ounces. I don't know what that it's means. It's this tall and it's that round. 
and it is enormous. And the trick there is I would do three quarters full just because it is so big. Yeah, you um, piss yourself. You'll, you'll have enough. I mean, and it's going to last you. It's going to last you. But for me, if the ice starts to melt, I'm like, I'll just throw the drink out. So what I like to do sometimes, like you said, fill it all the way to the top. Yeah. Right. And then when I put the liquid in, it's probably only that much. So I'll go get a two, a 20 ounce bottle to have with me so I can still refill with the ice as I go. Because I would queen. rather have, I would probably almost rather have more ice than beverage. Yeah. Right. Because you can 100%. always refill it later. Do you eat ice? Yes, chew ice, oh, of course. My of course. husband, Hayden, hates me for eating ice. He detests it. He's like, you're a freak. I'm like, I love it. The doctor says it's like eating glass. They're like, it's not really good for you. But I mean, it's I don't water. Tell my dentist. We're getting our water in. What yeah. more do you want? Let's take a break. And we are back with the gorgeous, the beautiful, the, uh, you said um, the UK's Alyssa. That's what people were calling you. Miss Delta, Miss Delta. <laughs> you brought candy from the UK. Look, tis the season of Halloween. Yes. And I obviously love sweets and chocolates and candy. I'm getting used to calling everything by its American terminology. Okay. But I feel like you haven't had the full UK sweet experience. So I have bought some goodies. Oh my gosh, how exciting. And I even went and purchased a Halloween oh, bag. Oh, how cute is that? That you can reuse at your pleasure. But how yes, cute. I've got to try and stand up gracefully. Oh I'm no, you, are we trying them now? Are we trying them now? Yeah. Fuck it, let's try them now. Okay, where would you like to... Actually, let's do a lucky dip, Delta. Okay. So you can pull them out and I will describe them. Okay. And then you can go to town with them. Let's... Oh my God, there's a ton of stuff in here. So I went to Tesco's, which is like... Which I've been to. Oh my God. And I love... You know what? Let me tell you something that I really, really think is true. Oh my gosh. Sandwiches in the UK. The Don't sandwich get me options for me are better than the sandwich options that you would get here at like a 7-Eleven. Or, or even in the airport, they're better. Yeah. Like they're presented better, they're fresher. What, what, why, what is that? I don't know what we do with our sandwiches. Jelly babies. Jelly babies, oh my God, jelly babies are like a fruity sweet that's covered in like a sugar powder. I'm into it. And you have like black currant, you have like strawberry, you have lime, you have orange flavor. They're delicious. Open them, try them, go to town. Tell I, me about the sandwiches okay. so I can hear about food while I'm eating food. So I am, anybody that knows me, I'm queen of the meal deal. Oh my God, did you just pull a knife out? I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a dangerous Delta. part of town. Hey, you got you got to look after number one. But okay, that looks like a strawberry. Ooh, the texture. So it's like it's like a jelly. It's like um, mm. I can't even describe. I'm terrible at descriptive words. It's got powdered sugar on it or uh -huh. something. Super sweet. I could I could sit and devour a packet. But like the lucky dip of. Any flavor. Oh, is that the squashies? Drumstick okay. squashies. Okay, so these used to be a lollipop. They still exist. So it's it was a lollipop sweet that was like a um like a chewy kind of texture. And they made it into like a foam marshmallow with the flavors. So it's I believe it's strawberry and milk flavored. My favorite ingredient in any candy is marshmallow. Number one ingredient. Okay, let's see what you think about the squash cheese. Best thing ever. See? Okay. You can taste the milk. Pull one out and just show the camera. It looks like a trucker's tan, like a sunburn, doesn't it? That's a fun way to look at it. I've never heard of that. A trucker's so, so tan. A trucker's tan, because there was arms out the window and they got the t-shirt tan. Um, but it looks like a ginger's arm that's just gone out mm. on, in the middle of July. Can I like them both equally? Okay. Okay. But yeah, sandwiches. I'm queen of the meal deal. Like, 
I, I, I eat my meal too as I'm driving. Terrible. Don't sue me, UK. Don't take away my driver's license. I've had it for 12 years. Um, but I love, I, my favourite is? is a chicken anything. So okay. it could be chicken and bacon, chicken salad, chicken and stuffing, chicken and sweet corn, or mm. chicken and mayo. Like Tesco's and um, Marks and Spencer's do an incredible chicken and bacon sandwich. That is like top tier for me. Okay. But I also love the the sandwich triples where you have like a chicken triple. So it would be like a chicken and bacon, chicken salad and chicken and stuffing. And then you get, you get a sandwich and a half because it's... It's three halves. So you get one full one, one full sandwich, okay. and a half. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. But this is where people get really controversial. And I love people that are like, rate my meal deal on Twitter okay. or X. Sorry. Which also, are you going to pay for it? Because, like, fuck, am I going to pay for Twitter? No. Sorry, I don't Elon. Think so. You fucking dickhead. I don't um, think so. He bought it just to ruin it, didn't he? He did. Anyway, I love when people rate their meal deals and I'm very controversial. I'm like, that crisp choice is poor. Why would you put like a beef crisp with a prawn mayonnaise sandwich? You're a, you're a criminal. You should be locked up She's for that. Perfect. You are perfection. These opinions are, are researched. Like these are really thought out and you really mean it and you'll stand behind them. I've, I've, I've I love done my that research. you said it and you mean it. Um, what's your views on salt and vinegar crisps? Well, first of all, crisps. Chips. Chips. No. Sorry. I love it because I feel this glove is giving me the business. Um, <laughs> I, I also think that not only just the sandwiches, but the UK crisps yeah. are far better than any of the chip options we have here. And I have had friends, my friend Andrea Green has sent me from the UK, she'll send me them, and I've had uh, I, first the first ones I ever had were prawn cocktail, which oh. I fell in love with. Had no concept of how much I was going to love them, but mm -hmm. I've also had the cheese and onion. I've had um, mm, something chicken flavored. I can't remember. Oh my god, roast that we do like a roast chicken. Yeah. Uh, so Walkers, which is like the British version of Lay's, uh -huh. which I know you're not a big fan of Lay's, but um, not normally, no. But like I think walkers are like top. They're like they're like the the staple, the classic. Right. You know what you're getting. I first knew them through Walker Shortbread, which I don't know if that's the same company. I don't think they're it's associated. Not? No. Okay. No. That's different. But okay. um, walkers is like the staple crisp. Okay. But they do a range called Sensations, mm -hmm. and they do a roast chicken and thyme flavored crisp. Who even knew that? Are you serious? Delta, you give me a shopping list and I'll post them back to you. That sounds amazing. I'll post them to you. But going back to salt and vinegar, they are the most universal crisp. It goes with mm -hmm. any flavoured sandwich. Oh and you could argue gosh. a ready salted is the most universal, but that's boring. Right. That's boring. Right. You want depth. You want flavor. You do. You want layers. Yes, exactly. I agree. And I the more like, tangy, the better. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people say um, there's this like, you know, the the what is what is the word that I'm looking for? Like um, when, when you make an assumption about a group of people, you know, you just decide this is going to be this way, this is that way. All salsa is hot, people will say. Or the, what you hear well, is that, white. <laughs> right. But people will say, oh, the food in the UK is so bland. I've had great experiences with the food. I had a wonderful breakfast. I thought everything was flavorful. I had wonderful sausage. The pudding was mm -hmm. wonderful. I, I loved it. And I, I would love to have more. I would love to try more because I've only had, you know, limited... Fish and chips beyond anything I had ever had in my life. A piece of fish this big. It was crazy. It was oh. so good. Right. We need to get you back to the UK and do a very Delta podcast tour. I would love it. Uh, I would love we, it. We could just tour this. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure very Delta and very Cheryl. Right. It can happen. Uh, pr promoters, if you're out there, call us. We are here. And we, we are. And we could we, we review sandwiches. Oh, we could, we could just literally sit and eat. Yeah. And I would I would love that. I'd take you to TGI Fridays. We'll get them to Properly. sponsor. Properly. Yeah. But what, uh, so this is, would you call this candy or would you just call it sweets? What would you? So it's very, it, candy over here is everything, isn't it? Right. It's chocolates. It's, it's like everything. the sweet stuff. Um, 
I would I would define sweets and chocolate, but they'd be okay. found in the same aisle. So okay. like that's a collection of sweets and chocolate. Uh-huh. Um, but I think they are the stuff that the UK is best attributes to the confectionery world. Mm-hmm. So jelly babies, top tier. The squashies, they're very new to the game. They're, they're very so new. Good. Um What's oh, your... what else is weird? There's this called, um, I don't want to open all these because I don't want to waste them yet, but this is, is called- Is that a dip dab? Dip dab. Okay. Dip dab is like a lollipop okay. with a lemon sherbet. So what you do Ooh. is you lick your strawberry lollipop, get it all tacky, stick it into the sherbet. Okay. And then you lick all the sherbet off your lollipop. Oh, I feel it in there. Maybe save that for a rainy day. We have something similar called fun dip. Okay. But it looks like a long, like a long aspirin, and it's a chalky consistency, and then you just dip it in. And this is better. I think this is more elevated. I'm telling you that this is, come on, this is this is the really the way that you do it. What's your views on chocolate, though? That's what I want to know. I love chocolate. I love chocolate very much. I, um, uh, I, I do like it. I sometimes like it frozen, actually. Delta is my girl. I will do it frozen. I think it's great. I love, uh, do you ever do a chocolate dipped ice cream cone? Have you done that? No. So a lot of fast food places here will do them or there used to be a place called Tasty Freeze, but you could also go to Foster's Freeze and you can go, um, oh gosh, you can go to, uh, we have Wiener Schnitzel here is the name of the place. That's the thing I was thinking of. Yeah, the hot dog place. Okay, that's what we were talking about. Okay, so you can go there and you can get an ice cream cone and it comes out soft serve, like kind of like ridgy in a way. And then they'll dip it in chocolate that freezes immediately and it becomes a layer. So once you bite it, because that chocolate was originally hot, the ice cream starts melting. So you have a limited amount of time. So you have to work that thing. You have to work it. Like this, all like the way around. my time. I'm telling you. But you can also get it dipped in strawberry. You can get it dipped in orange cream. A million different ways. It just depends on the time of the year. They'll bring out different ones. I'm obsessed. It's so good. So I love, that's what I'm saying. When I love the frozen chocolate, um, and I love it that way. Yeah, frozen I love it. Tell me why. If it's yeah, if it's just if it's just you and me, we can have frozen. Uh, we can have refrigerator. If your boyfriend says, "Hey, we all I have here is room temperature," I'll eat it too. Cool, we're good. Because unfortunately, people this is room temperature. I think it might be a bit chilled because I'm still getting used to like air conditioning everywhere, which is my dream. I want air conditioning in every room in my house. Yeah, because I hate being hot. I like being hot on the beach, but if I'm hot in a room, I'm out. I'm done. Let's take a break. We are back with my friend, the beautiful Cheryl Hole. I'm all sugared up already. I mean, I'm like, it you doesn't take alive. much for me. You know, I'm like, when it comes to sugar... Uh, not like caffeine, but sugar and alcohol are the same for me. I always used to think that, um, you know, when people go, oh, you're a, that person's a lightweight or um, it doesn't take much for this or that, depending upon weight. I always thought the bigger you were, mm-hmm. the more you could drink because it took longer. And I don't drink very often. I'm not opposed to it. I'm not a sober person yeah, or anything like too. that. I just rarely am in the place where I'm like, oh, I'd like to drink a lot, but I love it. I think it feels great but it doesn't take much for me. And sugar is the same way. Mm. See, I don't really like to drink when I'm working. Uh I always think like, I'm doing a professional job. Why am I going to get absolutely like off my face wasted before I even step out on stage? I'm with you, girl. So like, I will will always have a drink at the end of the show. Sure. Even if I've got three numbers to do, Mm -hmm. I'll do my two. Then I'll pour myself a little bevy, have a little giggle, and then we'll do the curtain call. Woo! Job's over. But I I love sugar. We are the same person. I love this. I love how your theory I'm so 50-50. Much. I love I love having my savory food, mm-hmm. but then I always need a dessert. Okay. So like my friends are always they want the appetizer, they want the main course, and then they don't want the dessert. They mm-hmm. want a cocktail or something. And I'm like, 
the guys, I really want the cheesecake. And I was on holiday. I'm going to tell you a very quick story. Tell me. I was on holiday. Uh, we used to go on these big family holidays. Uh -huh. It'd be like 10 of us would go. And we were in a restaurant in Barbados. Not a flex, just location. Um, <laughs> and it was all inclusive. So obviously you can eat to your heart's content. Mm -hmm. And then they came around. They were like, so would anybody like a dessert? And I was like, well, what's on the menu? They come out and they go, well, we got this and we got cheesecake. And this is like the third night in. And uh -huh. they go, oh, we've got a New York cheesecake. And I'm like, oh, well, there's always room for cheesecake. There's always. Always room for cheesecake. Schoolboy era, because that was in 2012. And that's followed me to this day, that catchphrase. Any type, any family function, well, there's always room for cheesecake. There's me in the corner crying, eating a piece of cheesecake. Are I'm they so reading you? Yes. Why? Because they think that I will always have a piece of cheesecake, even if I'm like, no, I'm too full up. Every night, if I was full up from having like an appetizer, a main course, I was like, I'm not feeling dessert today, uh -huh. which is rare that I say that. But they'd be like, you need to eat the cheesecake. I'm like, okay. It's always ripped for cheesecake. Well, you know, that follows uh, other, Mrs. Kasha Davis. It always follows her that there's always time for a cocktail, but she's sober. Yeah. But she still finds room for a mocktail. Yeah. So, or a cookie. You know, yeah. Which or, she said to me. Or a cookie. Um, this is the part of the podcast where people send in letters. Read me, Delta! Read me, Delta! You really do watch. I'm so excited. I'm a fan. I love it. I love this. Look, your podcast is the only thing that gets me going on a Monday. I love that. Thank you. And I'm not having a wank watching you as much as people would love that at home. Some people do. Well, some people do. It's a weird fetish. But how's, how's your feet business going? It's 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 going slowly. It's going slowly. S slowly um, but surely. I started shaving the hair off my feet. So we're going to start there. And I mean, then I've got we'll get a, feet yeah. underneath these. I have to do that before I get a pedicure because I don't want to scare them. And then once we get them all cleaned up and ready to go, then we'll see which uh, shoes they actually fit inside of. So we'll try there. All right, first letter. Letter. Um, if people, oh look at that, <gasps> we it's are getting okay, spooky. This could be. This could be. Um, I wonder if that's candy. You think? I think you try it. Oh God. No. No. It has a metal taste like real blood. Okay, well, that's good. That's good um, stuff. If you want to send a letter, send it to readmedelta at gmail.com. Questions, queries, advice. Um, yeah, so that's, you know, that's yeah. what it is. I'm going to save that envelope. I like that one. That's cute. Okay. Do you say envelope or envelope? Oh, God, you put me up. Um, I'm just going to go to the shop and get my... Envelope. You have to, because it's like where you're from, you have to say that. Envelope. You don't have a choice. Like I yeah. say, I have to force myself to say envelope, even though I think it does sound nicer. But, you know, it's we're, we're, we're two people separated by an ocean. And even though we're similar, we're so different. We were reared so differently. I know. Why were we separated at birth? 18 um, years apart. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, hello, Delta and sexy guests. Sexy? Oh. Sexy. Buy a girl a drink. Do you say, I'm pregnant, or we're pregnant? Shout out to Zaddy Mark. Very Rick. Oh, Rick. If you were having a baby, uh, would you announce that you were pregnant with a baby or that you and your partner were pregnant with a baby we're pregnant i'm a stickler for context so it depends am i having a conversation with just one person am i having it with my partner next to me uh-huh so if i was just by myself i'd say i'm God, pregnant i i'm uh like i just i love you i need context if you ask me a question i need to know the context right to know how to answer it because I could say, we're pregnant, we're expecting, we're going to have a baby. Mm -hmm. That's how I would address it if my partner, my husband was with me. God, you're nice. You're a nice person. You're like a little legitimately, and I'm not even trying to be like condescending. You're legitimately a fucking nice person. Life's too short to be a cunt. Can I say that? Yeah, you can. Life's too short to be a cunt. I see so many queens, and like this is no shade to the girls that have come after me, but... I was so honored to be a part of this franchise, mm -hmm. to be a part of this drag world. Yeah. And why Why would I be a dick to people? Why would I be rude? 
when I'm honoured. I'm honoured to be here at Very Delta. I don't think anybody actually understands how honoured I was when I was I was asked to come be on this podcast because I am mm -hmm. such a big fan of yours. I was, I was saying to you about watching you on season three and like that contemporary approach to drag inspired me and realised I could do everything I wanted with drag. But then I see girls come off the show and they're acting like bitches in the dressing rooms. They're demanding drinks. They're speaking to staff like shit. I'm like, why are you doing this? Right. Life's too short. Let's right. all be nice. Let's all get on. I mean, not everybody has to get on. There's people sure, I don't get sure. on with, but I will still be civil and just crack on with it. Right. But let's just get on with life and be nice. But yes, in answer to the question, if I was having a conversation with you and you'd be like, oh, so got any news? Well, I'm actually expecting. Right. But shh, I'm expecting. But if my husband Hayden was sitting with me, right. we're going to have a baby. Right. Oh, how lovely. See, that just makes sense. I mean, it makes sense because it's, it's literally how you would phrase a sentence. Yeah. I love that answer. I love that I'm drinking Diet Coke with you. I feel right. honored. It feels great. It feels great. Does your straw bend? Uh, mine does bend. Mine does. Shakira would but, be happy. But um, whoever put mine in, put mine in with the bendy side in here. Somebody is getting fired today. We need free drinks in here. We need you to stop acting like assholes. I'm here with Cheryl Hall. Who's Do you the know who we are? Idiot Do they even the know who the fuck right we were down. on Drag Race? We were on Drag Race. Oh. Do you under? They don't even know who we are. I hate when queens use the Drag Race card. Bitch, we're all we've all got a fucking wig at, on our head. At this point, everybody's been on Drag Race. By the by, I Everyone. mean we've had 500 queens through the doors right. internationally. Like everyone, it's not a flex, guys. <laughs> right. Everyone's been on. We're all I in always... the same fucking dressing room. Calm your tits. Oh, uh, just a little bit. Oh. Just a little dot. That was a nosebleed. <laughs> that was a nosebleed for sure. <laughs> for sure. Get the champ on. I wonder if we could put that on the pumpkin, maybe. Oh. 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 Yes. You could have you could have opened that package of candy and put a bunch of those in there yeah. and had me chewing them, going, everything of the UK is so good. Oh my god, my friend Cheryl brought his candy. I've got I wouldn't know that around my finger now with these sweets. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. Okay. Dear Ms. Delta Work, what are the must what are the most Halloween fragrances, not only in name and concept, Ooh. but in actual scent? Like what fragrances smell spooky? Ooh. Dreaming of you and always your gorgeous guest. Very tandy. Tandy Newton. Tandy Newton. Um, friend of the pod. Hmm. Very well. There are there is a line of fragrances called Halloween, and we buy them here at Ross. Um, they come from some manufacturer somewhere, so they're not manufactured for Ross. Um, but they have like they come in a silver box with one has purple, one has red, maybe one has gray on the silver. They smell like candy. They smell Fabulous. you know yeah like a gourmand fragrance. So it I would love be a like sweet food. smell. Do you, you know Lush? It? I do. I went to a Lush one time in the UK. Lush do like the sweetest fragrances. And they do seasonal ones as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but my favorite is the Christmas one. It's called Snow Fairy. Oh my it gosh. just smells sweet. It's just like pure sugar mm. in a spritz. And it smells, if, if a color could be personified into a fragrance, it would be pink. Okay. It just spritz and it smells pink. Okay. But I love seasonal fragrances i'm not i i know you love an earthy mm -hmm. woody fragrance like mm -hmm. a candle but i will take a cotton okay i would love like a flowers mm -hmm. there's a company called the white company in the uk okay and they do like bougie candles and there's ones called seashells mm. and it smells like seaside but floral but like salty as well okay it's beautiful okay i need to send you one of those i would love that i have i i have some fragrances i have quite a few fragrances that are um that are lighter because i do i feel like it really sets the mood for whatever it is that you're wearing oh, and what course. you know that will if you're looking like oh i want to wear this sort of outfit this fragrance seems to go with it because that's what you project or whatever um i think for halloween i love those those fragrances but i would definitely say something sweet and sugary like you said 
is kind of Halloween because um, candy you think station. of candy. You think of candy. Yeah. But then I also think of something witchy. So I think um, uh, oh moss. Gosh. Yeah, that could be like uh, Estee Lauder uh, Youth Dew. It's very heavy. The color in the bottle is almost like brown green. It's not beautiful necessarily, but the fragrance smells like a witch hidden somewhere. Like it's just, it's, it's, it sounds like you're really going through like a cavernous area. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, so there's that. So maybe something with a, a bit of licorice in it, uh, anise in I it. I could say that, yeah. That would be nice. Um, there is a fragrance that I learned about when I worked with RuPaul. She had a bottle of it, and it is, um, it, it's an oud fragrance, but it's from Lancome. And I remember saying to her, oh, I love that fragrance. And it was really heavy. And she kept putting it in a diffuser. So it made the whole room smell like it. And uh, so her makeup and the hair room and the clothing room always smelled like this. And a lot of people thought it was too heavy. And I thought it was no. so good and so mysterious and spooky. And I asked her about it. And she's like, oh, it's from Lancome. And this is the name of it. And I looked at it. And I was like, oh, the next time I go to the Lancome counter, I'm going to get myself a bottle. And she goes, oh, darling. You will not find that at the Lancome counter. You have to get it at a Lancome boutique. It's very expensive. It's like, bitch, knock it off. I have a credit card. The bill's not paid, but I have a credit card. <laughs> There's a little bit on one. You know what I mean? But anyway, she always smelled like that. And it was so beautiful. She had a lot of fragrances that different ones. Um, when I Also, when I think of a, a sugary one, I think of pure sugar. I don't know where it comes from, but Pandora Box smells like it. Oh, okay. and she all that's her fragrance. And whenever I smell it, I know that's Pandora. She's in the room. It's gorgeous. See, I'm from the school of Delta Work when it comes to perfume. So when I first started drag, I was like, I have to douse myself, hands, any movement, anything that gets moving. I love that. Down the hair. Uh -huh. Always. Just anything that moves. Perfume. My poor mother. I owe her about 20 bottles of perfume. Oh my gosh. Because I would just take it. Yeah. And it would be stuff that I'd buy her because I loved it. So right. I, I'm to this day, I am a Rihanna girl through and so, through. So she has great fragrances. So good. I mean, I've got one of her first fragrances. I think it was Rebel Fleur mm -hmm. that to this day, if I see it, I know it's been discontinued. So I need to take it. Mm -hmm. If that's on a shelf in a shop, I'm taking it. Yeah. I don't care the cost because I'm never I may never I may never get it again. Yeah. It could be the last one. So but it's you and Kylie Sonique Glove that now I blend two fragrances. It's so fun to do. It really is. And it makes it uniquely you. When I walked into the green room, I went I could smell just as I was walking turning like the corner. Poppers. And I was like, oh, is that Cheryl? Is she here? And there you were. And I thought, you, the room just smelled so good. It smelled like very specific. That's why I said, what, what are you wearing? I can't even pinpoint this. And it was you who, and I don't want to tell you what she mixed because we have to gatekeep certain things. Well, I unfortunately, believe. I've given one away. You've given one away, but that's okay. That's only half the story. It is. If you're, if you're not subscribed to Mum Plus, you're only getting half the story. You're only getting half. Thank I'll you for being here. No, thank you for this having me. This blew by. It does. When I, I'm really, really, really super, super intrigued by you. I think you're fun. I think you're exciting. I mean, I see that on TV, of course. I watch the show. I love the show. It's so hard but when people um, see someone from the show and then they kind of make their assumptions about yeah. Whatever. And that's fine. We know that's going to happen. But it's always a treat. I really have to say when you watch any of these shows, whether it's Drag Race or Project Runway or whatever, you really have to uh, give yourself the opportunity to meet people because sure. it's so much more like you're only getting a little bit. You're really only getting a little bit, as you said, half the story. But I mean, I think we are kind of the same person. I, I, mean, I am very every rant talking about driving. I'm there because I'm I'm like the road rage bitch. I'm like, you just took my parking space. Right. How dare you take my parking space? Right. The fortunate thing for you is that um, you are uh, almost half my age. So, um, you know, you're still not um, you're still not uh, all eaten up. So that's good. I mean, <laughs> if somebody would like to eat, me. I mean, you've been eating out, of course, <laughs> right? But and um, we're gonna go eat out after right. this. <laughs> we're gonna get, we're gonna go out to eat. We're gonna eat out, and then we're gonna get ate out. So you know, that's it. Well, Cheryl that's a Hull. risky game. 
<laughs> well, we'll get, yeah, nothing. Well, it has to go in a certain order. No hot sauce. Right. It has to go in a certain order because, yes. yeah, things, shit, shit travels downhill. Surely, surely you'd want to do the business first, right? Then, then get down to business. Because you'll eating. be relaxed. Yes. And there'll be no problems. Yes. There'll be no problems. Um,. Thank you for listening and watching Very Delta. We come out every Monday. Subscribe to Mom Podcast right here on the Mom Podcast YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode. And search for Very Delta on your favorite podcast apps. And subscribe to Mom Plus for even more Very Delta. You can send all your questions to readmedelta at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Delta Work. Where can people find you? See, I was a smart bitch. I went universal at Cheryl Hall Queen for everywhere. Across the board. Yes. Yeah. You can also follow the show on Instagram and TikTok at Fairy Delta because if you're not, you're really only getting half, half the, the story. Delta. Uh, join me next week right here for another episode of Very Delta. And until then, keep things very scary, Delta. This episode of Very Delta was brought to you by Orange Diamond, the official emoji of the Very Delta show. To listen to Very Delta one day early and ad-free, sign up for Mom Plus at mompodcasts.plus. Very Delta is produced by Moguls of Media, a.k.a. Mom. Hosted by Delta Work and produced by Mark Jacobs. Engineered by Margot Padilla and editing by Doug Robertson. Executive produced by Willem Belli, Alaska Thunderfuck, Big Dipper, and Joe Cilio. 